Hi guys, um, for those who don't know me, my name is John Robertson, I'm a games maker. Uh, I'm just in a wee bit of a video diary here as part of um, the ability for me to go down to the Olympics and to make a wee diary. Just to let you know what I'm doing and what I'm going to be doing over the next kind of few few days. Um, specifically myself, I'm working within the athletics um, as an athlete. Um, I, I know a lot more kind of about athletics and I was chosen as a, a field of play member, so it means I'll be on the track and working with the athletes to a great opportunity. Um, this part of the video diary is just to explain who I am, what I'm doing, and it's actually filmed on the 27th, which most people know as the opening ceremony tonight, so I'm looking forward to that tonight, that should be good. What I'm going to show you now is uh, a bit of who I am, and hopefully a bit about what I'm going to be taking down with me, I need to start packing. I leave on Wednesday, which is the 1st or 2nd of August, 1st of August, I'll go down the 2nd. Um, right now, um, I work with, uh, I volunteer with the Council of Things Coaching, I work with the Council of Coaching as well. I also work with U UK and Scottish Athletics on Youth Advisory Panels and I work with Sports Scotland uh, as a, a part of the Young People Sports Panel, which is something that, it, it gives me a lot, of, a lot of excitement that I'm part of these. It means I can, I can actually try and start to make a difference in sport. Um, for me, the difference between sport with me and for some other people is my sport's always against myself. I always compete against myself. I don't really compete against anybody else because I had kind of two older brothers that were much, much better than me. They still are in sport and I really couldn't compare myself when I competed because I wasn't that good. But with me, sport was always against me. It was always about making me better and making me more confident in what I was doing. And I am a pole vaulter, I've done pole vault for a while now and it was said the other day um, at a session I was discussing with my coach about the, um, just not specifically about pole vault but about most people in the, the sport and how most people in the sport if they're in my position they kind of maybe have, have dropped off I mean I used to plateau quite low down the, the rankings things like that never really that and it was only just through my love of the sport and my enjoyment and the, the confidence the sport gave me um, I was selected as a games maker, as I said, as a games maker for London 2012. I'm doing the Olympics and Paralympics. Um, as I said, I leave on Wednesday, today's Friday, so I leave Wednesday. So I'm just kind of starting packing now. Um, I have a games maker kit with me. It's a games maker kit there. It's all going in that bag. And it's come down with me. Now, I'm travelling down by bus, I need bus. Um, I'm actually camping at the games, which will be a good experience for me. I'll be there for a little over, uh, just about six days, six, seven days for the Olympics, just the athletics and the Paralympics could be a lot more due to the my shifts, but my shifts I'm guessing will change. Um, I've got six days camping which will be a good experience, quite fun, and through my work through um, uh, UK I was offered a set of tickets for the first day, just just one ticket for the, the morning and the evening, but unfortunately on the third I'm actually working so I can't use the evening ticket. So I don't know what's happened with that yet, I'll decide later on, but at the moment I'm going to go, before I actually start, I'm going to go to say some Olympic athletics, which will be a great experience, it means I'll be in, get a few things before I go. Um, I think I was the first Scot, I need to look back in times, but I was the first Scottish pole vaulter to compete in the stadium, um, which is a tremendous honour, I got the honour through the British universities to compete in, um, and it, it was just an amazing opportunity. Uh, I'd never forget being in that stadium, like you can just the atmosphere, even though there wasn't a lot of people in it, but the stadium is huge. You feel tiny, but when you obviously don't have, I felt I felt confident in the place. Um, it went well. I enjoyed the competition. Didn't expect to get in. Didn't get in, though. I wasn't really disappointed, but I, I was just just delighted with the opportunity to compete. Um, for that, I need really good thanks for brother uh, James. Of course, I don't drive, and there's not many companies that will fly the poles down. Now, for me to be able to compete, I have to get the poles driven down. And uh, my brother took time off. He's took a weekend off. Um, yes, he's, he's, he's a shouldn't be patient. Um, he took time off to drive me down. So I'd only give him a thanks for that. Um, hopefully, he won't have to do it again. Hopefully, I get the driving done and things like that. But this is just kind of part one of the day, the preparations before. Um, I've actually got some of the camping stuff here as well. The most important thing for me is um, food. Got my kettle, my tea, my tub of frying pans, pots and things they all look small but they all go down together and I've got my my uh, my single layer bed over there to make sure everything's comfortable um, I'm looking forward to it, as I said, it's a great experience 
I just like to thank the people that selected me and then I'd like to thank all the people that I work with that's helped me um, helped me along the way to get this. It's a great opportunity. I'm looking forward to the experience I'll gain from it. And, uh, yep, I'll see you in the next part.